this is what Jimmy does well. Comes back. Very and it's a record for Jimmy Anderson. Yeah, to be from that. That's why Jimmy Anderson's uh, such a highly rated bowler. This is pretty much when he's in this mood, watch out. Look at the climb, the ball pitches. This is only 82 miles an hour. Still... Jimmy was very patient, he was probing that line. Not much you can do. That was a very... Perfect bowling at really good pace. Great length. Whoa, look at that ball move and so late. How good a batsman McCullum is. Look where he's hitting this ball. Away to the leg side, even mid-wicket-ish. Which tells you how much the ball has done. But... Well bowled, Jimmy Anderson. Really well bowled. Didn't quite get his foot to the pitch of the ball. He just went dead straight. Pitched on. Bang, there wouldn't be an easier decision for Daryl here in this whole match. He was back on his stumps. Got to dig Jamie Howe out. Needed a good ball. Actually, he's dragged him a little wider than he probably wants to go. What a day it's been. Round the wicket. He's got to play at it. Just a little bit of nip off the wicket. Nice edge. Jacob Borum's gone. 93 for six. That's got to be close. Surely that's got Up goes the finger. Yes, Jimmy. Number seven for you. Well deserved. He's bowled supremely well, and he might get another opportunity in the second innings. Will they enforce a follow on? New Zealand gone for one, two, three. Outstanding finish to the innings by England, polishing off those last three wickets so quickly. And fittingly, it was Anderson who got the last wicket because he was the man who really started the rock with those brilliant swingers yesterday. That one, well, it probably would have just hit leg stump, maybe. It did swing back nicely. I think he will probably just about get that. Yeah, good decision by Daryl Hare, just. Finishing off the innings, so New Zealand 241 behind on first innings. Now, will Michael Vaughan 